everybody welcome to my channel and today we are going to discuss about how do you create a right CV for campus placements be it off campus or on campus now I have visited more than hundreds of colleges in India for campus placements screened more than 50,000 CVs and interviewed more than thousands of candidates now I look at a CV and I get to know whether I want to interview this candidate or I do not want to interview this candidate. So in this uh, video we are going to discuss in detail what sections should you have in your CV, what information each of these sections should contain and how do you create a right CV for campus placements. So please stay tuned until the end of this video because you're going to get a lot of information and I'm also going to discuss a good CV and a bad CV with you so that you get live examples on what the recruiter is actually looking for in your CV. So this is going to be a full packed session for all of you. Stay tuned until the end and I hope this helps you in the campus placement and you get a job soon. Thank you. Hi everybody. So as discussed, today we are going to talk about what should be the right format if you are a fresher for your CV if you are planning to attend any campus placements be it off campus or on campus. So now the first section that you should have in your CV is your contact information. The contact information should be very clearly visible on the top of your CV. Now what information you should consider in your contact information, I'm going to show uh, you that all in detail. So please stay tuned. We are going to discuss about each and every section in detail. Now after your contact information, you should have your summary. Summary is nothing but a clear career objective that you should write in your CV. Then comes your education. Because you're a fresher, the first section that you should have is your education and then you should go to your internships and projects. And then comes your skills. This is a very important section which will uh, really highlight your technical skills and your interpersonal skills. And then comes your internships and projects. This is the next section. So, uh, and then comes your hobbies and interests. This is the personal section. So this should be the format of your CV, very simple, uh, where it starts from the contact information and it ends with your personal information. But however, if you have this format and if you have right details in your CV, but you do not have this very important tip that I'm going to talk about, your CV will definitely get rejected. There's so many people who, who uh, does this mistake and that's why as a recruiter I want to inform you and share this important tip with you because I'm, I don't think so anybody is talking about it but your CV will get rejected if you do not follow this important tip. So stay tuned until the end of this video. Now what we are going to do is we are going to go in each of these sections and understand what information each of these sections should contain. So first let's get started with the contact information. Now your contact information should have your name, address, email address, your phone number and uh, your photo and your LinkedIn profile and GitHub profile. So these are the very important uh, things that you should mention in your contact uh, information. Uh, make sure everything is very clearly visible and please attach a photo. Say if we as a recruiter, if I'm going to hundreds of colleges and if every college I have two, three hundred students easily applying for this uh, fresher job, then how will I remember you and how will I relate your CV with your face? So for me to remember you and relate your CV with your face, you should have your photo attached to your CV. That is always going to help you. So uh, do that and then always have a LinkedIn uh, profile and a GitHub profile. If you want, you can also add a QR code. Now, if you think LinkedIn profile is not important, let me tell you, you are incorrect. LinkedIn is very important and also having a right LinkedIn profile is very important. So how do you have a right LinkedIn profile? What all information you should have? What are the do's and don'ts of LinkedIn profile? If you want to know that, let me know and I will create another video and in case if you want to follow me on LinkedIn so here are the details and you can follow me I share a lot of tips and tricks on recruitment that is going to help you so this all information you should con uh, have in your contact information which should be on top of your CV clearly visible now let's go to the next section the next section is nothing but the summary which is nothing but your career objective 
and this career objective should not be more than three lines stick to minimum two to three lines have very clear career objective and do not write paragraphs and paragraphs uh, you know uh, the more clear and crisp it is the more better it is this is not the section that you should focus on there are other sections that are more important in your cv that you should focus on which we are going to talk about then after your summary you go to your education details now what all information you should have in your education details you should definitely have your degree name your college name and also your specialization now so many times i've seen that candidates miss this information they just write bachelor of engineering but in which domain in which stream please specify that is is it information science computer science electronics engineering please mention that and also mention your percentage and score it can be in cgpa or it can be in percentage and mention the start date and end date of the course so uh, do not miss any of this information and if there's any gap in your cv which is completely fine please call that out and mention a reason why there was a gap that is okay and uh, make sure that all this information is clearly captured and you do not miss any of this information then comes the very very important section now this section and the next section that we are going to talk about this is going to make or break the deal for you so this is a very important section which is your skills now in skills what are you going to focus on your technical skills and your interpersonal skills now in technical skills what have you learned in your entire curriculum that is what you're going to mention and you can also categorize that so for example if i take the example of uh, computer science engineering you're going to make mention the languages that you know for example java c c++ then databases that you know oracle ms sql then uh, the operating systems that you know say linux windows and so on so please make sure this section is very well crafted it can be in a tabular format or it can be in uh, in, a, in a simple text format but uh, highlight the important keywords highlight the important skills in this sections and then you can also mention your interpersonal skills and when you're capturing your interpersonal skills then you can also capture the tools that you know say for example if i'm capturing good communication as my interpersonal skills and i also know ms powerpoint i'm also going to mention that so capture all the tools that you have worked with that is also going to give you an additional edge in your cv but this section is very important do not skip this section and capture your uh, technical skills now, then we are going to go to the next very important section which is the internships and projects now in internships and projects again we are going to capture your technical skills so just understand one thing that your resume should be highly 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 technical it should not speak about anything else but technicality so you should call out everywhere in your resume what technical skills do you have as per that role that you are applying for so now when you capture your internships and projects first mention the project details write the name of the project and duration of the project but do not waste any any space in describing the project lot of candidates do that they waste lot of space in describing the project but as a recruiter or a hiring manager we are not interested to know what is the project all about but what we are interested to know is what are your duties what were your roles and responsibilities in this project so highly ca call out your roles and responsibilities in the project what work have you done in that project that is very important and then again call out the technical skills what skills did you work with uh, in this particular project and then you also call out the achievements so for example i received an appreciation from from college or from client for completing the project before time so these are your achievements now these are uh, all these things you should add and uh, um, mention under internships and projects now each one of you i'm sure would have some internships or would have done some college projects now capture those information but make it sound very technical and concentrate on your work that you have done in the project now let's go to the next section the next section is the personal section this is an extra information that you should have it's not a very uh, important section no your uh, it, your cv is not going to get rejected just because you do not have personal information no the two most important sections in your cv is your skills and your internships and projects and that you're going to sound uh, 
very technical in those sections you're going to make it very very technical so now let's go here in your personal section you'll mention you can mention your interest your hobbies the languages that you know say english hindi marathi or any other language and other achievements that you have all your curriculum activities other uh, initiatives that you've taken you can mention all that uh, in in this section other different awards that you have received you can mention all that in this section so make sure that you have your cv you have all these uh, sections in your cv do not make a cv of three pages at the max as a fresher your cv should be one or two pages two pages and that is it it should cover all the details now say uh, you have all the sections clearly called out in your cv you have mentioned all the information you have made your cv very very technical but you do not follow this important tip definitely your cv will get rejected now what is this important tip let's look into it this important tip is nothing but do a grammar and a spell check yes very important i can't tell you how many cvs gets rejected just because there is a grammatical error or there is a uh, spelling error in your cv it is a very simple thing but it's a very uh, important thing and the whole idea is if you cannot spend right good time to create a right cv and write a correct cv how are you going to write emails tomorrow how are you going to do your work tomorrow so basically the logic is very simple the cv is your selling point and if you cannot uh, you know create a right product like your cv how are you going to sell it and how is somebody going to buy that product so for example if you want to buy a phone you will never buy a broken phone you will always buy a phone that is working right so in the same case your cv should be perfectly fine for somebody to say yes we want to interview this candidate and that's why your cv should not be broken or it should not have any grammatical or spelling errors so make sure you always proofread your resume or you have somebody else proofread your resume and you do a spell check on your cv this is a very very important tip if you follow this make your cv very clear with all these sections with uh, the important tip i'm very sure your cv will get selected now if you want to know what is a good cv and what is a bad cv and you want to see certain examples then stay tuned i have a part 2 of this video you can uh, go ahead and see the part 2 and we are going to see good examples of a good cv and a bad cv and i hope this uh, video is helping you to create a right cvs for your placements as a fresher uh, do not worry uh, you if you create the cv i'm sure you your cv will get selected uh, and i hope and i wish you very all the best for your next job search as a fresher stay connected and see you in part 2 of this video thank you